everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Welcome. Happy Memorial Day to my U.S. friends and yarny sisters and brothers and non-yarny people. <laughs> um, how are you? How was your weekend? Um, I actually did not go anywhere this weekend. I didn't even go check my mailbox. Did you send me something? <laughs> Anyway, I didn't check it. Uh, I did some crocheting. I did some frogging. Anybody do any frogging on the weekend? Um, yeah. Somebody asked me one time what frogging was, so I had answered their question in the comments. And uh, they were a new crocheter. So I, I explained this when you make an error in your crochet and then you you rip it out, rip it, rip it, rip it. Just, you know, undoing your work till you get back to the mistake, fix it, carry on. <laughs> yeah, that's frogging. Um, so, oh, a friendly reminder, uh, the first week of June, I'm going to be putting up a video, uh, a slideshow video of the scrap yarn mystery crochet along I had and uh, so make sure you send your pictures in of your finished item. I have several already and I'm so excited. Um, make sure you put that hashtag on whatever social media you share your picture on. I'll have it written on the screen. And um, yeah, so I can find them easy. Um, yeah, so I think I have maybe 10 pictures so far. So that's awesome, you guys. I, I'm thinking others uh, maybe were involved who aren't interested in sharing. Um, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, but we, we love to see your creativity. I mean, some of you put your own spin on that item, and I love that. I mean, you, you make it to suit you. You know, that's that's great. Uh, I do that too. <laughs> so yeah, and the colors you used are awesome. You guys did such a fantastic job and I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was fun. I enjoyed it too. Um, okay, so make sure you have your pictures in by tomorrow, which is May 31st. <laughs> Gee whiz. Uh, where's May? Right here. Yeah, today's May 30th. So tomorrow, May 30th, 31st have your pictures in email them to me or put them in my Facebook group or or wherever just um, in messenger or Instagram you know the messaging parts or wherever you put it uh, make sure well when you send it a, a private message you don't have to put the hashtag but put the hashtag if you post them on um, Instagram or in my Facebook group. Anyway, all right. Yeah, so that's that for that. That's just a little reminder. And the baby blanket that I made for my neighbor. Um, I went over to her, went over, it's only next door. Went to her place on um, Saturday? I think it was Saturday. I knocked on her door and then her hubby came to the door and said she was sleeping. I thought, oops. Well, she does have a, a baby that was born in December, so, you know. Anyway, so uh, I asked him if he could tell her to come over to my house because I have something for her when she wakes up. So she did, and I gave it to her in a bag, and, and, and she looked at it, and she said, Oh, it's a blanket. Did you make this? I said, Yes, I did. She said, Oh, thank you so much. And uh, so, so then yesterday... I was sitting on my front step and she walked by and she said, baby loves the blanket. She calls her baby, baby. I don't know what the baby's name is, but she said, baby loves the blanket. I said, oh, that's good. I'm glad. And she says, she, she, when she plays peekaboo with the baby, she loves having it over her face. She said, with any other blanket, she fusses and panics and wants it off. But with your blanket, she loves it on her face. She loves to play peekaboo. 
I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad she told me that. I'm so happy and I'm so glad the baby loves the blanket. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so glad. And um, so that's my notes. I was just looking at them. What else? What else? Um, all right. So I was, wor I'll get to this top in a bit. <laughs> Okay, I was working on um, the shawl by um, Crystal from Crystal's Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. Um, I was following her tutorial, very good tutorial. Um, and then for the repeats and stuff, I think she has notes in the description box of that video, like I'll link that video. But um, you can buy the pattern on Ravelry. And uh, I showed you the other day, <laughs> um, I made a couple of errors. And it's because I, uh, I couldn't print the pattern on paper because I ran out of paper and ink at the same time. So I was trying to read it on my phone where I have it downloaded and I zoomed in and still got lost because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm not that good at reading patterns. I get lost easy for one thing. So anyway, I had to frog a bunch back, and this yarn I'm using is the um, the labels right in front of me. The Loops and Threads Eco Calm Stripes, made by made from recycled plastic. 200 grams in here, 433 yards. I won't even need this whole thing. Um, it's um, Where is it? 60 recycled polyester, 15 polyester, 15 acrylic, 10 wool, limited time only. So I don't even know if they make these anymore. That's it there. It's a medium four weight rose gray is the color. And uh, there's different shades of gray and different shades of pink. It's really, really pretty. I've had it for quite some time. Didn't know what to make with it. And then Crystal, Crystal's pattern came along and I'm like, oh, well, she's had it out for a while, but I won it on one of her lives. A bunch of us got a free pattern of our choice, I guess it was, so <laughs> I picked this one. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. So look, look at these stitches. I mean, they're gorgeous. And this yarn is working up so beautifully. Um, now I'm not sure, like I frogged back a few rows I have this marked, that's my 10th row. It starts up here, goes down. So that's where I know I've done my 10th row. And then I missed a row. <laughs> I think I missed a row or something. And so I had to add a row, but I don't know why. Crystal, I'm, I'm tagging you so that you see this video. It'll notify you. Um, if you guys know, don't know how to tag or, or whatever, when you tag a channel name, you put the at symbol, start typing the channel name, and it should pop up, and you click on it. And then they're tagged, and then they get notified that you've said something about them in your video. Okay, you do that in the description box. So, it's a little bit uh, wavy, and I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Uh, so, I'm not sure. So if you can let me know, Crystal, in the comments, I did something wrong, or maybe, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, because this this yarn has, it's got just such a teensy weensy bit of halo. Can you see that? It was a little bit of a problem to frog back, but I did it. And I'm determined to finish this because it's Gorgeous. I love it. I love it, Crystal. I absolutely love this. Okay. Oh, and I was using a uh, six millimeter. Yeah, six millimeter hook for the shawl. The yarn ac actually recommends a 5.5, .5, but I went to a six. I often don't use the size they recommend. <laughs> 
So I showed you again with a six. I, I don't know, I just thought it would show off the stitches maybe a little more because they'll be bigger. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking half the time. <laughs> okay. Um, so something else I want to show you it, well, I want to show you this top. I have a tutorial for this top. Um, I did it in um, uh, pink. Uh, Karen, Karen Ripple Cake, I think. And um, so oh, on the weekend, because I don't get to film hardly ever on the weekend, and I am working on a tutorial, which I hope will be out this week. Um, I had this yarn. It's a wrap rainbow. Okay, 55 acrylic, 45 cotton, um, 150 grams, 623 yards. Um, it says it's a super fine one. I don't know. It's got the four hair-like strands. Not, not, what do they call it? Plied? I'm not sure. But they're all loose. Um, what else does it say on here? Oh, what's the color? What is the color? Hmm. Oh dear. Is the color called rainbow? I don't know. Redheart.com has free patterns if you're interested. <laughs> How come I can't find the color? Oh, you're probably like, it's right there. Maybe it is called rainbow. No, that's, that's, it's a wrap rainbow. If I find the color, I'll put it on the screen. But, um, because I always watch my videos back before I put them up. Yeah, just to make sure I said everything I should say. But, um, so I had two of these. One was messy. Um, so I'll put a picture of that here. And so I, I, I caked it up. And I just put the two of them together. You'll see that in this picture. And then I thought, you know, I didn't put two of them together, to put them side by side, so that's in the picture. And then I thought, you know, I got these two cakes. Why don't I combine them? So I'll have eight little strands to work with rather than four. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that is what I did. Where's my end here? So I have eight little strands rather than four. It just makes it a little thicker to work with. Also, um, if you slip a bead on it, it, get, it helps hold them together a little bit better. It puts a little bit of weight. So as you're working with it, you, got, you have the bead hanging down if you're you know, on the couch or something. It'll probably sit on your leg or something, but it'll give it a little bit of more tension and then it's easier to crochet with. So I put them together and I made this top. Um, okay, you saw the pictures I put there beside me here. And so this is what I have left. These are the colors I have left. I'm thinking I might as well go ahead and make another one because um, there's lots left in here. Yeah. So let me tell you the hook size before I show you the top just for fun. <laughs> um, okay, so I wrote this down. I made, I actually made the straps first because I wanted the straps to be the same color as the top part of it. So I wouldn't run out of that color. I made the straps first. In the tutorial, I made the straps using this stitch. So that was in the straps as well. This time I just used uh, double crochets. Um, let's see. I started with, I started the top with a six millimeter hook. So I did the, uh, straps in a six millimeter, six millimeter. And then I went to, in the third row of fans, so wherever the third row is at, one, two, three, I changed to uh, 
I don't like this hook, <laughs> this 6.5, because it's one of those plastic things. It drags on the yarn. I don't like it. I gotta just get a better one. These ones I got from AliExpress. A whole set, and it was cheap. I got also got a set of these with a case from Amazon before I saw them on AliExpress without a case. Um, so that was the third round. I changed to 6.5 just to get a little bit more room a little. It's, you know, it doesn't make much of a difference, but. And then the 10th row, 10th row of fans, I changed to a seven millimeter. So this is my seven millimeter. I like this hook to a certain degree. I got this on AliExpress as well, but, um, when I use it, um, the, um, okay, let me show you. Um, okay, the six millimeter. Okay, the seven millimeter. See the shaft here is a nice length. It's almost as long as this one. And I like that. I like that there's a lot of space between this and the handle <clears throat> because it's easier for me to crochet. This doesn't get caught up in the yarn if it's if the shaft is longer. Now the handle part here, this is much shorter and what it does when I crochet is it hits on my hand right about there and it annoys me and it presses against that part and it's just, it's irritating. But when I use this one, it's it's longer in my hand, so when I'm working with it, it sticks out. So um, I don't know if uh, if people other people like this, the shorter ones. Like I might put it in a giveaway or something if you guys are interested. Uh, everybody has different preferences, right? So that's what I did. The tenth row, I went to of the fan stitch, because I'm not counting the single crochet rows, I changed it to a seven millimeter to give it even more, you know, roominess, and it, it does create a little bit of a flare. All right, I'll show you. Wait till you see this, how the colors came out. I love it. <laughs> looky, looky, looky. All right. See, there's a little bit of a flare. I think like I can see it <laughs> so I really like that and so that is the top this is the back same thing as the front and it's worked in the round and here's a closer look like I what do you guys think I love how the colors transition So I just love it, I love it, love it. I have a tank top under, it's just a black and gray camouflage one. That I got at Walmart. <laughs> but yes, I love, love how it worked up. I think it's so pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, um, let's see. I think that's it for this video. I gotta get back to recording the tutorial. It's, I'll tell you what I'm making. I'm making um, a summer cardi and um, the body is made one piece and it's easy. Uh, I try to make my tutorials as easy as possible for you guys. Um, well, <laughs> I don't know how to make them not easy. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and I really like the one piece, um, tops and, uh, um, cardies and stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah, I like it because it, I don't really like making the panels and then sewing them together. Like I've done that. No, I don't, I don't have any tutorials. Do I? Um. Oh, I actually do have a tutorial on a top, a loose fitting top, where I made a front panel and back panel. 
But uh, I just prefer making the body in one piece. I find it easier. What, what do you guys like? Do you like um, doing the one piece body? Um, yeah. So, oh, I need some coffee here. Excuse me. So, um, so yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a summer <laughs> cardi that I'm making. Um, and I am making two to two in, um, different, each, each in a different weight of yarn. Like I like to do to show you guys how it looks, um, in, in a couple of different weights, sometimes three weights, if I'm feeling energetic, <laughs> this one will be in two different weights. And anyway, so look forward to that. I'm going to have that out. It should be out by, well, this week, you know, by, it'll be out by the end of the, it'll be out by Friday. <laughs> okay, I got to do some more filming on that today. I'm at a point where I need to film the next thing I'm going to be showing on it. So I better do that. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you um, click like if there's anything you liked. And um, I'll see you all next time. Thanks.